garden center in EHT is where everyone's lawn and garden should begin. Family owned and operated since 1964. Stop in and see what we have to offer. Visit bobsgardencenter.com or follow us on Facebook. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy. We're looking out towards Atlantic City right now. It looks stunning. I don't think there could be a more quintessential or perfect example of the Jersey Shore. You got the Ferris wheel, the pier. You've got all these beautiful umbrellas and people just soaking up the sunshine. It is stunning out there. This is day three of our three day stretch of really comfortable, kind of somewhat cooler conditions. It's not cool as in not too hot, but the humidity has been lacking the past couple of days and that has been a nice welcomed change. Right now we are definitely warm. We're back up into the 80s. A couple of spots still holding on to the 70s right along the coastline and down towards the bay. So technically temperature wise, we're kind of where we're supposed to be, but this is the game changer. This is the thing that has been making the weather so much nicer the past couple of days. The lower dew points, they're slightly higher this afternoon than what we saw yesterday and for Monday, but they're still overall on the comfortable side. 56 for Glassboro, 55 for Vineland, right along the coastline, a little bit warmer, uh, 60 for Atlantic City, Cape May, the dew points up to 66. Check out Rehoboth, 67 degrees for the dew point. So definitely feeling a little bit more humid for a few spots, but this is nothing compared to where we're going to be for the next couple of days. Here's our setup. This nice high pressure, keeping us dry, keeping us comfortable, led to all the sunshine the past couple of days. But do you see these dew points out further to the west, 71, 72, up to 77, 75, down towards Tennessee and Kentucky? All of that moisture as this cold front moves closer is going to have no other option but to move further to the east and a little bit further to the north. So that cold front going to force a lot of that hot, humid air to move up across our area. So tomorrow we're going to be feeling a world of difference out there. The dew points are going to be back up into the 70s for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a little bit of relief on the way for the end of the weekend and start of next week, but nothing compared to the cooler weather that we've been seeing for the past couple of days. Anytime we get those dew points back up into the 70s, we also see an additional chance for some rain. So those rain chances are going to be kind of steadily rising between tomorrow and into Saturday. And then we just stay sort of unsettled into next week. Now a 20 to 30% chance of rain. Is that a washout? Absolutely not. Even 40%, not a washout. You're still going to have plenty of opportunity to enjoy your holiday weekend, but we might be running into a few showers and definitely a couple of thunderstorms. This high pressure can't stick around forever. It gets pushed further to the south as that cold front kind of starts to move in. I'd say as early as tomorrow morning, you're noticing the difference in the air quality. You're noticing the extra moisture moving in. A couple of extra clouds on the way for tomorrow afternoon as well. But all day Thursday, does look dry. Now Thursday night, there might be a chance for some scattered showers, maybe a little bit of some thunderstorm activity, but it's going to be very late. So all day Thursday, you're clear, you're dry. So 4th of July parades, fireworks, things like that. You're good to go. It's just Thursday night where you start to see a chance for some storms rolling in. Same can be said for Friday. Most of the day looks clear, but as you get sort of into the early evening and into the overnight hours, you're going to see a chance for a couple of storms popping up as well. But again, only 20 to 30% chance. Not everyone's going to see that activity. It's not going to be a washout. We're not dealing with widespread rain and thunderstorms. It's just scattered activity popping up kind of late in the day. The temperatures are also going to be on the rise. So not only will it be more humid, it's actually going to be a lot hotter as well. We're back up into the 90s for at least the next, uh, I would say, three, four, maybe five days. Temperatures will be back up above average. We've been kind of right on par where we're supposed to be for the past couple of days. But this is what we're going to be feeling like. So as those temperatures get into the low 90s, the dew points get up into the 70s, we'll be feeling probably closer to the 100 degree mark for Friday and Saturday. Like I said, Sunday, the dew points fall just slightly. That'll knock that heat index down, but it'll still be feeling plenty warm as far as your holiday weekend forecast. Not half bad. Don't let these thunderstorm icons scare you. We're still going to be seeing lots of sunshine and the bulk of your Friday and your Saturday are going to be dry, hot and humid. But as you move into the kind of late evening and overnight hours, you'll be seeing a chance for some storms. I think if I got to pick between Saturday and Sunday for which day is better, I'll probably go Sunday. It does look a little drier and again, a little bit more comfortable. Tomorrow looks beautiful, but again, hot and humid, feeling like kind of the mid 90s. Let's check in on our tropical situation. We have Hurricane Barrel working its way past Jamaica right now. This is going to be an extremely impactful system 
for the people of Jamaica. We're going to be seeing a lot of damage coming out of there as this Category 4 storm kind of rolls through that area overnight tonight. Here's where things get interesting. So later on this week and into the weekend, we're going to be seeing Barrel kind of take aim at the Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 1, maybe Category 2 storm. As it passes over the Yucatan, it actually goes back down to tropical storm status. However, the warm water in the Gulf of Mexico could give Barrel an opportunity to reorganize and re-strengthen back into a Category 1 storm early next week. We're also noting that trend of that more northern turn for Barrel. And what that means is we're going to be seeing possibly some more impacts for portions of Texas. Like I was saying yesterday, Corpus Christi going to be feeling the impacts of Barrel definitely with some flooding, higher wave heights. But some of those issues could extend as far north as almost Houston, Lake Charles, maybe a little bit too far west for New Orleans, but definitely portions of Louisiana dealing with barrel later on next week, kind of early next week. We still have our area of potential development. That being said, it's kind of closing in on barrel. There was a bit more of a gap between the two systems earlier this week. And as the storm kind of races in closer to barrel, its chances for formation are dropping just a bit. And that's a good thing. We don't want another system on the way. This would have been our D name Debbie, uh, but we'll continue to keep a track on it. If this doesn't become Debbie, the next wave off of Africa could potentially become Tropical Storm or Hurricane Debbie. So that's just the kind of conveyor belt system we're dealing with right now for this point in the uh, summer and at this point in hurricane season. Okay, so the seven day forecast, this is the definition of a unsettled pattern. A lot of moisture moving in and not only aloft, but also at the surface. It's gonna be hot and humid Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Even next week, we'll kind of feel kind of swampy once again, but all of that extra moisture, it just means more chances for some thunderstorms. Not widespread rain, not heavy rain, not a total washout, but definitely multiple chances for some rain and some thunderstorms popping up for kind of the end of this week and into next week as well. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'll check back in with you later on this evening.